Hi guys and welcome to your daily tarot reading for Monday the 18th of January 2021. Thanks for joining me. I'm using the Truth Seekers Tarot for this reading. Let's see what these cards have to say about Monday and what energy you'll be working with. So let's have a look. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. Let's see what Monday is about. First card. We've got the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. The Six of Pentacles in reverse. And the Two of Swords in reverse. Interesting. I've had quite a few reversals over the last few readings, so the energy is changeable. I always read them both ways around, especially when I have three reverse cards. So first of all, the Two of Swords is about a situation that's unclear. You may feel defensive because you don't know what's going on, and that defensiveness makes you kind of retreat, and you try and secure what is. So rather than moving forward, and looking at what you can walk towards, you're trying to lock things down and to secure yourself. The Six of Swords is the haves and have nots card. Sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down. And the card represents this importance of giving when you're in a good place and being willing to receive when you're in a bad place. It's a reminder that no man is an island. You're not on your own. Other people exist, other circumstances demand your attention, and things aren't just one way. There's duality in, uh, inherent in every situation, and it's important to look at that dual nature of things if you want to progress and if you want to move forward. So it's interesting with this card because it's saying don't just be defensive and look at securing things. Also, realize that you don't have to kind of lock things down and secure them all the time. You can open up and you can move ahead in your life. And finally, the Seven of Pentacles is about um, harvesting the good things you've worked towards and bringing things to fruition and saying, I have toiled and I have struggled and now it's time to reap the rewards and to benefit from that. So it's saying that by looking at things in a different way and being willing to see the hidden meaning, you can change your circumstances around and you can really get something good as a result of that open-mindedness. The cards were in reverse though, so let's have a look at what they mean this way around. So the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, things aren't quite at the fruition level yet. You've got to keep working to get things moving. Um, it's not about sitting down and saying, okay, let me put my feet up, everything is done. It's really about you're in the middle of things, you can really affect a lot of change, the outcome isn't quite determined yet, so you can make the outcome whatever it is you want it to be, but the important thing is to put action in, to keep working. And these trees in reverse um, are just drawing my attention and they look like ones. And ones in the tarot are about your passion and your life purpose. So think about what you're in the middle of and where the outcome hasn't been decided yet. How can you use your energy today to affect those different circumstances and to get a different outcome? So if a job project, everyone's already kind of given up and it's like, oh, the, the customer isn't going to be satisfied with this, I don't know, advertising proposal, then you can say, well, we're still working on it. And if we've already kind of checked out then let's revisit and let's do something where the customer will be happy with our proposal because that's the whole point of this. So uh, don't give up. Keep going. Things haven't been settled yet and you really have a lot of control. And by using your strength and energy and practical abilities, you can really determine a positive outcome. The Six of Pentacles in reverse, what we've still got is this um, star at the center here and these two arrows. So it can go either way. It can go to a good place or it can go to a bad place. It's really not been determined. The control that you've got today is internal. If it motivates you, if it inspires you, then keep going. If the outside circumstances are a little bit iffy and you don't know what's going to happen yet, then that's fine. All you can do is do your best and produce the best 
um, level of work that you possibly can. The, the reason I'm talking about work is because pentacles in the tarot represent money and career and your daily routine and um, your the structures of your life and um, your diet and your exercise regimen and your health. And it's really asking you to do something practically because things haven't got a result yet. There's no outcome. So what you can do in the meantime is you can get practical and you can work towards things leaning in one direction or the other, good or bad, left or right, black and white. And um, with this, the Six of Pentacles, the opportunity is still there to make those changes. But it's about practical matters that eventually will have a final outcome. They're just suspended at the moment. So um, this area of your life is where you can have the most influence. And I mean, all of us are physical beings. We all have jobs or if you're retired, we, you're working on something or you're a student. Uh, we all have to look at the way we feel in our bodies. We all have to look at the homes we live in and to determine whether we're in the right place and whether we're happy. And you really have all of that thrown up into the air. So everything tangible, that's usually quite rigid. There's a lot of flexibility associated with that today. And you can really adapt and change in quite a profound way so that you end up with an outcome either at the end of the day or moving on during the week where you are happy with what you've done and worked towards. And then finally, the two of swords in reverse means that you can see clearly you're not defensive, you're open and you're willing to move ahead and to get to your happy place. So keep working, keep striving. You have got the right idea. It's okay for you to make decisions and to share your perspective on things because you haven't got the wrong end of the stick. You see things for what they are and that gives you a lot of leverage in the sense of, okay, I'm going to lean on this more heavily because I want a better outcome in that area and I'm going to remove my, um, my influence in this aspect because I think it will be fine by itself and I would only complicate it and make it more difficult. So you really have this intuitive understanding of where you're going to be most effective, what you should spend your time doing, what you ought to look at, and there's very little waste. So you really don't waste your time. You're very, very productive, and time is your best asset today because you really know what to do with it. You use it very, very well, and it means you get yourself in a position that you want to be in. Number-wise, we've got two and six is eight, and seven is 15. One and five is six, and six in numerology is this card. Six is about a temporary opportunity. It's about having or not having. It's about achieving or not achieving, and things really not being set in stone until you walk the walk and do everything that you're supposed to. So you really have a temporary opportunity today to alter the outcome in any circumstance that you're involved in. Don't, you know, the, the show isn't over. It's not done yet. So use this opportunity to make a final push to get things to go in a way that you want it to go. You've got the insight, you've got the opportunity, and you have the physical strength to actually get yourself behind this. And yeah, it, it's not curtains yet. The show has not finished. You're really able to affect great change. So have a wonderful day. If you would like a personal reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. On the front page, click on book your reading to order your reading with me. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe and share the video online. Have an amazing Monday and I'll speak to you tomorrow.